this is stocking up. Um, so how to deal with it. This is why you wrap your, le your horse's legs with stable boots or stable bandages, um, because you can see the thickness here. This is from um, often working hard and then being put in the stall. Okay, so it's a common thing. The horse is usually, the, the swelling goes down with exercise and they're not lame on it. They shouldn't be, or it's not, <laughs> it's not stocking up. Um, but you can see she's got quite a bit of fill in her leg. I don't know if you can see that totally. So I'll show you how to do a stable bandage. And again, these should be put on before they have leg fill. Cotton of some sort. It's better if you're learning to get the no bows because tension is important and getting the right amount of even tension. If you get it too tight, you can do damage to their legs. If you get it too loose, it won't do anything. So you want a nice feel where, where it's just nice, even tension. Um, so that's really vital. If you get the no bows, um, it's easier to do it and they've just got they've got some pleating in it this is just a normal one okay so to do it you have to you have to always wrap it in the proper direction okay so from the outside towards the back and you start on the cannon and you want to make sure that this is even that there's nothing folded over okay now these are a little big for her but they can work. And then you take your uh, standing bandage, which is a stretchy kind of material, and it's wider. And you start it with the tip here at a bit of an angle. And you want to start it not quite at the top, just a little bit under. Okay, some people will start in the middle. Um, but the key is that you go down and then back up again with even tension. I do this so that we can fold it over um, and lock it in place. So here's where you start to tighten across the cannon bone. Flip that down. And you want to go down the same amount every stride or every <laughs> roll. Okay, this is where her, her fetlock is and her pasture. And you want to go to the bottom of the fetlock but not into the pasture joint, unless you're doing a shipping bandage, which these are actually big enough for. Um, so here's where I'm feeling the, the back of the fetlock. I'm gonna go down a little bit. I want a V right here so that she has mobility. Um, and then I start to go back up. Again, tightening across the cannon, not across the back where the tendons are. Now because her legs already do have fill, um, as the fill reduces, these will probably get a little loose, but she's not going to have them on for very long anyway. Um, she is about to go to a horse show, so I could actually do shipping bandages here, and that would be totally okay. So you want it to finish on the outside. Um, this is more on the inside, but you get to know your wraps and know how, how much to go down and when. Um, because it's on the inside, she could take with this leg and kind of brush it open. It's slim possibility, so it's good to take a piece of tape and just um, do that. This is not anything to really worry about. Um, again, it's because the cotton is too big. Um, if I was to do it again, I might have more of this on the top, although that traps shavings in their stall. But this is the area that you want to cover. And if you look at it from the back, it covers the back of her fetlock.